At the start of his visit, Pope Francis was received like any other statesman or foreign leader by Mexico's political class. With pomp and circumstance, he was the first pontiff to be invited into the country's national palace. This is why it's important to have a secular state, like the Mexican state, which by protecting religious freedom, protects diversity and human dignity. Since 1857, Mexico has legally been a secular state. Although 82% of the population considers themselves Catholic, the country's founders sought to reduce the political power of the church. However, some critical laymen say Pope Francis' welcome went well beyond the normal pomp and circumstance. The political class is supposed to promote the secular state and defend it in practice. But they are the first to play this double game, where we see totally exaggerated expressions. I mean, a head of state should not kiss the ring of another head of state because that demonstrates subordination, yet that is what we saw. Federal and local governments are spending tens of millions of dollars on the Pope's visit, an amount that is seldom spent for other foreign dignitaries. Some argue that this amount of resources and attention by the political class has at its end certain benefits and political capital for institutions that lack legitimacy from the public. We all know that this looks like some kind of political capitalization by President Peña, before a public that is majority Catholic. So this has a political reading. That is, President Peña Nieto wants to gain from this visit, specifically the visit to the National Palace, the good opinion of many Mexicans. The public response to the Pope's visit has been relatively muted with lower than expected turnouts at his public events. The hierarchy of Mexico's Catholic Church had eagerly awaited this visit, but even Pope Francis himself alluded to the dangers of mixing church and state. Obispos de mirada limpia, de alma transparente, de rostro luminoso. You need to be a bishop with a clean gaze, a transparent soul, with a bright face. Do not fear transparency. The church does not need darkness to do its work. Be on guard so that your new view is not clouded or corrupted by mundane or trivial materialism, nor by the seductive illusion of the under-the-table deals. While the political class in Mexico defends its participation in religious events as religious freedom, arguing that this does not violate the laws of the secular state, others recall the country's tumultuous past when the church intervened directly into the Mexican people's social, political, and economic lives. Clayton Candelasur, Mexico City.